Southwest's crisis during the holiday season has cost them a reported 800 plus million. The hundreds of millions have therefore meant that the airline has had to adjust its expectations for results in the fourth quarter. An adjustment that will see fourth quarter profits actually now turn into fourth quarter losses. The calculations come from passenger reimbursements, exterior costs and the general lost revenue they saw. Southwest cancelled more than 15,000 flights across a 10-day period. This was during the peak holiday demand. In addition, it was brought on by a severe winter storm as claimed by the airline. With record lows and conditions that spiralled out of control, the operations at Southwest also, you could say, spiralled out of control. As stated by analysts though and those within Southwest, such as face-to-face -face employees and those behind the scenes, this has actually been a long time coming. And the problem really stretches to old technology, backed up in a report by CNN and other reputable publications. CEO Bob Jordan said that as a company, we spend about $1 billion a year on technology and will continue to upgrade the tools and processes our employees use to serve you, our valued customers, and make sure those items deliver to our mission, to connect people to what's important in their lives through friendly, reliable, and low-cost air travel. We have a proud 51-year history of doing just that, and I'm confident we'll continue to deliver on this all-important promise. Southwest has continued to, though, come under fire from frequent flyers and the general public. The airline reiterates that they're making good progress in recovering from this major network failure, from focusing on the passengers impacted and working around their travel plans, while also taking a look at the workforce that were heavily impacted, too much, much more that even I won't be mentioning. Customers impacted by the disruption can also expect 25,000 frequent flyer points labelled as a goodwill gesture by the CEO Bob Jordan. Southwest, though, will have a long way to go in terms of repairing customer relationships and more after the holiday meltdown. Trust doesn't come back immediately, and for some passengers, they may be looking at putting their business elsewhere for their next journey. Per Serium for January 2023, they have logged 116,000 flights, amounting to 18 million seats available. 121 destinations to 12 countries in three regions are included, with Denver being its biggest market. 1.1 million seats are available there, spread across 7,381 flights for this month. This is a 17% jump from last year's period, when as we know, pandemic restrictions were still hurting travel and generally people's desire to fly. Southwest is now playing a game of catch-up, trying to reimburse customers and much more. Unfortunately, it's costing them an arm and a leg while also impacting their current schedule, but it's something that must be done and is a repercussion of what happened during the festive break. What are your thoughts on what's been unfolding at Southwest in the past couple of weeks? Do let me know down below in the comment section below. I'd be very interested to hear your take, as it's been probably one of the most talked about stories hitting the aviation world in a period that is usually relatively quiet as everyone goes away for a much needed rest. Thank you very much for watching. Do take care and be safe and I will see you next time.